For me, there's basically three levels of finger picking, the first being classic Travis style finger picking, where if you notice, the thumb and fingers are never actually striking at the same time. The next is what I call pinch Travis, where it's still classic Travis picking, but every so often a melody note, a fin you know, an index finger or a middle finger note gets plucked at the same time as the thumb. Slightly trickier. The third level is full-on thumb finger independence, where the thumb is keeping even time, just like you would tap your foot, but then up on top of that, a melody is happening. Hey, I'm Eric Haugen. Check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about exactly what sound tools I'm using today, how to schedule lessons with me, live streams and more on Patreon, and my courses. It's all on my website. All right, let's take a look at my right hand. We're gonna start with classic Travis picking. Let's grab a C chord and let's get real close to hand cam here. Now, um, capo fifth fret to play uh, these days, uh, the Nico version of the Jackson Brown song. So we got a C chord, first step, and I'm using a thumb, thumb pick, uh, was it a Herco? Blue, medium, Jim Dum Mop, eh, the links below. First thing, that thumb goes back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Actually, it's easier to see on front camera. Some people will finger pick like that. I guess that's okay. I get into trouble doing that personally, so I, I do it a little more this way. Now we have an open G and a C. So after each thumb, let's look over here. That's classic, that's classic Merle Travis folk style finger picking. Um, and the funny thing is, not actually that many songs strictly follow that. Fleetwood Mac Landslide, Paul Simon the Boxer, those are two I can think that follow that. Even this, you know, these days, the Nico version doesn't exactly do that. But here, let's look at that front cam. We got a C chord. The old uh, C over B slash chord. I talk about how cool these are. A minor. You could call this a C over G. Let's call it a C over G. Or you could call it an A minor 7 over G. That's a really good chord to know if you don't know it yet. Welcome. Welcome to my life. And then F chord where you're going to grab your thumb. So slowly. faster. Just for grins, let's take the thumb pick off. And then let's also do it the, the, the quote unquote wrong way where the fingers come out in front. Eh, you know, that's the thing about music. There is no right or wrong. There's only different. So I know some folks like to finger pick this way. Sounds okay to me. I ain't got no problem with it. That's basic, basic, classic Travis picking. And you can get a lot out of that. You can certainly get a lot out of that. Now let's check out the next level though. Like I said, the pinch Travis. Okay, so pinch Travis, it's almost the same as classic Travis, but like I said, sometimes the index finger is going to come to the party and, and participate as well. And actually, this is the one that you're going to hear a lot more of, variants of this, where it's basically Travis. Again, now I got capo second fret uh, to play this John Lennon, uh, Julia. Great chord progression, too. John Lennon was a good finger picker. So we got the same C chord. 
There's standard Travis. Now John is going to alternate the bass. He's going to go. So let's look at that. Yeah, let's look over here. But then he's going to get this G note up top. And that uh, that's going to happen at the same time as the first note. So that ends up being that is tricky when you, yeah finger picking is one of those things when you stop and think about it your brain hurts. chord is a minor such a Beatles thing to do he's like you know what I really liked having that G note up on top okay same thing now the bass is pinch say get something be like got it awesome wicked awesome dude bring it down okay i can play it slower mm, real slow how slow can i play it and still make it absolutely correct the music is still there at slow tempo gets an E minor, still has that note up on top, and still actually doing that same thumb pattern. He does this pattern, by the way, in Dear Prudence also. Notice that thumb, like I said, the thumb is the foot. The thumb never stops. Whole thing. So cool, so cool. All right, now let's get to level three. To get level three happening, we're gonna pull an exercise from uh, this Bruce Emery book. I think that's his name, he's a local dude too. I think he's down the, the road in Raleigh. Um, he has a book called Travis Style Guitar from Scratch. In general, I like his books. And he talks about doing this exercise. You get your thumb going. Yeah, we're gonna look at Rhiannon in a second, but here we go. Thumbs going. Let's go over to here. And then we're going to play just a couple of melody notes from A minor. So first, let's do those as half notes. Those are happening with the thumb. quarter notes. Okay, cool. What about eighth notes? That's trickier. I'm going to slow it down for y'all. This is where um, this style of finger picking gets into trouble. Um, it's really hard to do that when we have those angles going on. So that's my one thought on that. And 
And now, what if we did half notes, but starting not with a thumb? In between thumbs. Quarter notes. But to actually play Rhiannon, it's harmonizing that scale. Let's look at that camera there. So yeah, that's uh, harmonizing that A minor scale in thirds and then coming down to get fourths. So it's like harmonize. That's not easy, folks. That's not easy to do. Let me slow it down. That's dumb. He ain't stopping for nobody. And then, got an F chord. Same thing though, all right, what's that melody now? Harmonize. Everybody wants me to do albatross. It's been done. A bunch of people have done good lessons on it already. Anyway, so yeah. You know me, I love working on stuff that's a lot of sitting around doing simpler, subtle, rhythmic style playing. I don't, I, I don't, this is, this is not the channel for how to do sick leads. There's plenty of other people who are so good at that. Um, some considerations for this hand. Eh, where's where we're coming to see it very well. Ooh, I do keep my nails a little bit longer than average. It's funny, yeah. So as a result, they're kind of uh, not symmetrical, um, which does mean, yeah, all sorts of gadgets. You know, nail clippers, nail file. Man, these are so useful to get get those little get those little hang nails when you get those. Ugh, you know, like in the winter time, you get the little the guys over there. So yeah, you know the, you. you I don't do the press on nails. I know some people who get super into finger picking do the press on nails. That's cool too. I mean, I always feel a little weird if you, when you got, if you got the press on nails happening. You don't need to use a thumb pick. I just, I don't know. I like how a thumb pick, you get a nice thump to it. But here, let's just hear Rhiannon without the thumb pick. things to think about all this stuff especially if you're new to finger picking let's look over here remember that you're trying to move from the fingies and not throw your whole hand hand around because sometimes you'll, you'll see that happen so you really try and keep it chill i remember um the first person to show me finger picking was a camp counselor i had um and he was a classical player so he had me just take an e chord and just go straight shot Stuff like that, straight shot in a row. Pretty cool thing to do. Ooh, let's do a weird chord. Yeah. Andy Summers chord. Yeah, there's one. Fun stuff to do, fun stuff to do. That's all we got to talk about for today. Thank you so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do. For real, thanks so much. If you enjoy my work, please like, 
subscribe, share. That costs you nothing and helps people like me out immensely who work this gig. One more time around how my business works. You can book lessons with me. Live streams, backing tracks, charts, that stuff's on Patreon and my deep dive courses. It's all on my website. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs>